Hello everyone, it's Peter here and today I'm bringing a quick guide of how to use the Canon manually and with the help of the AI. The night vision system as well other quirks and features I found to be useful for your flight. I hope you can find this video helpful and I would really appreciate your support if you drop your like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. So here we are inside the cockpit of the Apache in the pilot position. New controls we're going to use today are first for the George AI is Consent to Fire. And just a quick note here, if you haven't watched the other video I've made about how to use the Hellfire missile and rockets, please do. Over there, you'll find a very simple and quick guide of how to use the George AI. Okay, with that said, let's move on with the controls. We're also going to use the Symbology Select switch to change the modes of the Apache Symbology in our HMD. We're also going to use the Pilot Night Vision System mode switch. The IHADSS, which is the device in front of your right eye, we're going to use the button to show it or get rid of it temporarily. Now, we have the Weapons Trigger Guard open and finally, the Weapons Trigger Switch. All right, let's start our takeoff procedure here. Let's go ahead and change our HMD symbology. If you don't have brakes assigned, just press the W to release the brakes. And let's pull the collective to about 25% and push the cyclic forward so we can move forward. Also, don't forget to unlock the tail wheel. And just to let you know, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to respect any airport traffic laws here. Alright, lining up with the taxiway. Let's start pulling more the collective to increase the speed to about 30 knots. I'll pull the collective and gently the cyclic so that Bash can take off. Let's remember that with higher torque she will spin to the right and you just compensate that with your rudder controls. Okay, now that we are airborne, let's go ahead and fly towards the targets. Let's open our AI menu and tell George to change the fire rate of the gun. I do this because I found the AI aim quite bad and I don't want to waste all the rounds. Gun set to 10. Now, let's tell George to slave and find the targets. Slaving. And let's select the first one we see here. Deslaving. Target is stored. A quick note here, for the first target, I will let George engage while I fly. And the feature that you can do is to see in your flight computer screen the video view of the dads. It's really simple and that's how we do it. First, you go ahead and choose which side you want the video at. I'm going to use the right side. You press the video button and then you press the upper button called tabs. Now, you press the button right above it called Tads again, and there you go. Now you see what George is seeing. Oh, also, you choose the zoom of the camera with the buttons on the left side of the screen. Alright, now let's press I to get rid of the IHDSS for a while, and let's engage the target by pressing the button to authorize George to engage. You see that he misses some shots, so to not complicate even more, make sure that the aircraft is flying smoothly. Engaging. Engaging. Good effects, good effects. 
Okay, he destroyed the target, and we can see the convoy dispersing away. And let's now use the cannon without the help of George. Bring up the IHDSS by pressing I again. And let's set the video to show our view. We go back by pressing the TATS button again. And let's press the button called Pilot HHD. Let's also arm the weapons and select the cannon. And also let's press the Pilot HDD button on the top right corner. And the reason nothing showed is because I didn't flip the switch of the night vision system. So let's go ahead and set it to norm. And there we are. You can see already on the screen that wherever I'm looking is also shown on the screen. And finally, let's just press the upper right button again to clear the previous menu and have a clean view. Let's go ahead towards the targets and engage them. As you can notice now, I have the benefit of looking through the aircraft, which helps a lot engaging round targets that are hidden behind the frame of the Apache. Now let's set the gun range system to auto. You simply press manual range first here, and then you go to your left on the computer, and press A, and then enter. Now the gun will adjust the range automatically, and you can see that it is automatic by the symbology of the HUD. Ok, let's engage these trucks here, and you can see that you have to get used to aim according to the flight path. And also, you notice that the NVS is a little slower than your head movements, but once you get used to it, it's not a problem. In this first pass, I've got two destroyed and one damaged. We're gonna go around and do our last pass. going fly in a path that they're going to be aligned. And here we go. All three destroyed. Let's go ahead and turn off the NVS and head towards the airport again. One thing that I saw real Apache pilots saying is that they use the NVS as also a nade to fly the Apache, like we're using here to land. So my helicopter experts, could you please tell me if I'm doing it wrong in the comments down below? But the way I found to land was to approach similar to what we do in an airplane and gently pull the collective making a smooth touch. And that's it for today ladies and gentlemen, I hope you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like to support our project, stay dangerous out there and I'll see you next time.